Ryerson Students Union is one of many student unions celebrating across Ontario today after a big win against the province. This past January, the Ford government deemed some student fees as non-essential and optional, including student unions, LGBTQ support centres and food banks. But an Ontario court has struck down this provincial government order. We have shown this government that despite their attacks on student autonomy, students will persist until our issues are highlighted and addressed. We have shown this government that we will not back down. A big victory for the Canadian Federation of Students and the York Federation of Students, representing 34 schools across the province. To a common person might say, oh, tuition is really high, but these fees are only adding on to it. But when we break down of what these fees mean to students at a large in terms of we're actually supporting marginalized students who already feel left out of university. And those fees that students pay to make sure that work is being done to make education more accessible. Student-led groups at Ryerson University were largely impacted when only 60.4% of full-time students opted in to pay the ancillary fee of $24.44 annually a big chunk of money with over 36,000 students attending the university, adding up to over $350,000. The school's campus newspaper, The Eye Opener, said nearly 56% of students chose not to pay the $5.65 to help fund it, an almost $114,000 loss. Cuts like this happen. It shows that as an institution, uh, student newspapers aren't considered valuable. People can just opt out of supporting us and supporting our duty to hold certain groups accountable in our community. Do you think students should have the choice to opt in or opt out or do you think it should be mandatory? I think students should have the choice to opt in and opt out because we also have to consider there are many people that can't maybe afford to opt in, right? So just giving them the option that, oh, you have to opt in, it's going to create a lot more financial um, problems for them. I heard about the cuts and how it's like affecting a lot of people and like I really don't want people like to get that stuff taken away from them. Like there's like uh, the radio that Ryerson runs, uh, newspaper and stuff like that. That stuff now getting the support it did in years past since the Ontario Divisional Court struck down the student choice initiative saying it interferes with schools functions and independence. Students United will never be defeated really means a lot in terms of when we all come together and stand in solidarity with our labor partners, with students and other societies. We have the power, we are voting members, we are the organizers and we can pressure the government and we can take legal action and we can win our battles. Ryerson Students Union Vice President says he isn't quite sure what the plan is for the rest of this school year, but the hope is to get that fee reinstated for the next school year. Now, we did reach out to the provincial government for a comment, and they said the Ministry of Colleges and Universities is currently reviewing this decision, and they'll have more to say at a later date.